Hello and welcome back to Botch But Works. Today I want to show you how you can really spice up your next party with this. Now this isn't some super complicated, super expensive lighting equipment. Quite the contrary, it's actually just a normal projector. You probably have one at home or maybe your friend has one. And today I want to show you how you can make a really cool lighting effect with just this projector, a small fog machine and some software. You will need some way to generate some fog. You can either use a professional tour hazer, which generates a light and diffuse fog by default, or you can just use one of these cheap fog machines. If you don't have one lying around by yourself, just ask your friends or your local lighting and PA supplier. They're usually super easy to operate, you just press a button and they expel some fog. Now for this effect, you do not want one single fog cloud in your room. You want to have a diffuse fog that just fills the entire room and it doesn't have to be super dense so that you can't see your own hand anymore, but just a light and small amount of fog in your room. The easiest way to spread the fog in your room is to just use a bathing towel and whip it around a few times. That will work just fine. Alternatively, you can just use a fan, like this one. Now, please don't make the mistake to put your fan this close to your fog machine. At this short distance, the fog will not have fully developed yet and it will clog up your fan. Instead, either turn your fan around so that it blows against the fog or just put your fan behind the fog machine. In both ways, you will have a light and diffuse fog. When working with fog, please check all necessary safety precautions, because the fog might set off your smoke detectors. The next step is to set up your projector so that your viewers can look directly into the lens. You can really get creative with this. You can put your projector on the floor or up in your closet. Just angle it in the way that you can see into the lens. Now, I'm not displaying anything fancy yet. This is just Microsoft Paint. But you can already see some pretty cool beam effects. Just play around with the graphic software of your choice to achieve some pretty cool visuals. To make things even more interesting, I'll be using this software that I like to call Blaze 3. It basically just displays geometrical patterns consisting of different elements. The user has a few different options to change the speed, the size, the brightness and the color of the animation. To use the software, you just have to set your beamer as an additional display at the left of your main screen. You then start the application and move the window around with your arrow keys. You then basically have the control window here on your computer screen and the display screen is on the left, aka the beamer. And now you can just play around with the software and enjoy the amazing visuals. Just remember to turn on the fog machine once in a while. I'll turn off the lights now and set up the camera so that you guys can enjoy the visuals.
thanks for watching my lighting tutorial. If you like the software, then please comment below. And if enough people are interested, I'll try to make the software available. Now grab your projector, your fog machine and a laptop at your next party and have fun with the visuals. Bye.